six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we come to you with a new video about the Creality Sonic Pad and as you can see there is a new update, it's the current version V1.0.6.34.153 is going to update to V1.0.6.43.28 so let's do the update first after this update we're going to install let me show you here an Ender 3 V2 on this uh, Creality Sonic Pad in order to work simultaneously with this Creality Ender S1 so so that we can actually try out this uh, simultaneous printing up to four printers I have two printers set up now here so we are going to try on two printers simultaneously I have actually four printers of Creality but I don't have enough space to put them all together but if two printers work I'm afraid four printers will work as well so let's do the update finished update first and then we can go up to the installation this video is brought to you by PCBWay your one stop for all PCB needs we can design prototype and build the boards your business requires at a price you can afford right now four and six layer PCB costs have been reduced by 20% the highest quality is matched by a quick order process and a 99% on-time delivery. The best value, low minimum orders and a fast turnaround. PCBWay.com So here the installation is done and now we are going to add our new printer which is the Ender 3 V2. So I press on this and you can also look at the schematic and here it says where the printer connections are like USB 1 is on the side and USB 2 as well and then USB 3 is on the back USB 4 is on the back as well so you I, I would prefer the back uh, connections because the cables won't stick out from the left side here so I'm gonna go for USB 3 it says it's idle so I'm gonna press here I'm gonna choose USB 3 and now we can choose which printer we have so in the list I'm gonna go to Ender 3 V2 here is one and it's a sear touch included and this is just Ender 3 V2 and you can also see which boards that it's been uh, uh, used Ender 3 V3.4 V4.2.2 I think the one that I have is Ender 3 V4.2.2 which is in here um, if that's the case why isn't there an option for an EBL oh here it is this one so I choose this one, Ender 3 V4.2.2 and I'm going to click next. So now it wants me to insert the SD cards on the position below which is here on the left side. Or is it the right side? No, it's the left side. Um, on the bottom. The bottom connection here is the one you choose. So I prepared an USB drive but I, I think I forgot to empty this card because you have to uh, completely empty it so that only the uh, firmware of the clipper for the sonic pad is on here so when you actually use the micro SD card on the printer here that it's only seeing that file because for uh, to let out uh, the complications it, that's the recommended way to do it so we have connected the, SD, um, the reader here with the micro SD card in it so we're going to choose flash the firmware the firmware has been written to the memory card, please insert it to the printer, make sure the printer is switched off when inserting it. Alright, so I'm going to say next, please power on the printer and clicks on next. Alright, so now we have taken it out of the sonic pad and now the micro SD card is inside of the printer and we're going to turn it on. Normally this is when it's flashing, I don't see anything on the screen which is a good sign waiting just a little bit I think that's it so now we're gonna turn off the printer we're gonna take the micro SD card out of the printer there we go and now you can see on the screen please connect the printer to the screen terminal USB port 3. Point well I was going to say 3.0 USB port 3 and after that it's going to connect each other, will find each other and will continue from there 
So the printer has found the sonic pad. As you can see, connection successful. I do next step. Here. The firmware has been flashed successfully. Please click on the next step for self test. So we do the next step. Self test will start. We do start self test. Take the micro SD card away from here. And now it says that the hot end fan is starting up. Let's check it. Yes, it's working. This one. So we're going to choose next step. Please check the hot end fan is turning properly. Say next step. And now we can see that the parts cooling fan is working as well. Perfectly. So we're going to try to do next step. Please check if the print cooling fan is starting properly. Yes. Um, and here it's going to prepare for X, Z axis offset calibration. Next. So now it's all set up. And we are going to try out the simultaneous printing. At the moment, the printer uh, Endotree V2 is selected. Access to device here. So we are going to print and choose something here, for example. I'm going to choose this print here. Now, it's, it is normally now heating up the printer. And now I'm going to do a printer picker. And access to the Endotree V, well, sorry, Endotree S1. And I'm gonna choose for printing the same thing here. Here you can see as well, they're both saying they are printing, like this one is printing, this one is printing, both green, both connected. So I'm gonna access this device, the Endotree V2. And here we're gonna see it's almost at the temps and it should start working very soon. It's starting to print this one, which is awesome. Okay, so now let's go to the printer picker and let's choose the Energy S1. What does this say? There is something to keep in mind, guys. If you're simultaneously printing on one bed, like one on the layer, look, this printer is making some vibrations. So this printer will be getting the vibrations as well. So yeah, will it degrade your print quality? Probably. Um, even though if you have like calibrated everything with clipper, with sonic pad, still it is going to have a difficulty, difficult time to print everything in the sense of um, the vibration being being caused by one printer is going to affect the quality of the other printer and vice versa so it's gonna both of them are gonna have some trouble um, well adjusting just to the fact that everything is moving uh, and that is something to consider when you're printing with more than one printer at the same time on the same surface that's the only place that I'm talking about I'm not talking about like um, uh, if you're printing on different surfaces, like one printer is like here and the other printer is somewhere else, that is completely fine. But if they're on the same on the same surface, as you can see, this surface is creating some vibrations. It's not gonna be uh, well. It might be minor, but I guess it won't be minor problem. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. But I can assure you, a simultaneous printing with the Creality Sonic Pad is working fine. At the moment, I, I had to stop because the Z offset of this printer is a bit off. So I'm going to try to change the Z offset on this one so that when it starts printing again, I'm going to lower it a bit. So now the other printer is also going and both of them are being controlled by the uh, Creality Sonic Pad. So yeah, it's an awesome feature that I'm afraid you can't do with just Clipper. You, you need both separate boards for it which is on the Creality Sonic Pad, awesomely made and I think this will make the attraction of this printer a little bit better. So as you can see now here, 
this one is doing better job now yeah there we go if you have more than one Creality or even there are more printers now being um, supported by Creality Sonic Pad and I think in the future there will be more and more printers who can be flashed with the Creality uh, Sonic Pad and then you will be able to just connect different brands and everything who are working with Clipper and yeah perfect um, anyways guys I just wanted to show you guys that this setup does work I, as I promised for making a video and I'm now um, just testing that everything is working so guys, I can confirm that this setup works fine. As you can see, the Endotry V2 is printing something else. The Endotry S1 is printing completely something different, but it's all being controlled by the Creality Sonic Pad, which is the test what we are doing. And it is, as you can see, working perfectly fine. Two different printers, uh, both of them Creality, yes, but you can do also another printer model, no problem, printer brand. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up if you didn't like the video, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!